fine with Why, me. did somebody say something? <laughs> <laughs> Hi all. Well, I thought you'd bring you something a little different today from our great Australian outdoors. Now you think this fire's hot. You want to see what I've got in this box. It is on fire. The Staffenbeel Vegas Hotliner Glider. Yes, it comes complete, ready to go. All is what you need is an S and a receiver and you're away to go. So let's get on down to the slope and we'll get it out of the box. Let's get there. Okay, as you can see, it's packed into the box really well. I'm gonna take it out. They have the wings on their own piece of cardboard. And there's the fuse and all the rest of the bits packed neatly inside. I'll get them out of the box and we'll have a look at them close up. Well, there you go, the wing looks really nice. It's got a nice graphics, it is super thin. It has the MH43 airfoil on it, which I believe is the airfoil they use on all the hotliners. It has a plug so you don't have to worry about wires. A new system here where the wing just plugs into the fuse. I'll show you on the fuse in a minute. Servos are fitted already for you, diamond servos. You just gotta set them up. Aurons all hinged and done for you. Different graphics on the other wing. The wings are a styro Abachi wing, so they should be strong. The fuselage looks really nice. You've got your motor up the front. It's a high max C3522 900 kV motor. Looks very nice. Hatch slips off. Plenty of room in there. It comes with everything. You don't need anything except a receiver and an ESC. I've gone with the Jewel Sky, the 65 Lite ESC. Fits perfectly in here and you need 3300 batteries. So 3300 3S batteries. I'm gonna use the AR610 for my receiver. You get a nice prop and spinner setup, all ready to go on. You get all your hardware. You got some nice hinges there because you'll need to glue your tail on like you do for most. As you can see, it's already got your clevis on there, already in, ready to go for your rudder. It's a T-tail. So this goes straight on the top. Again, got it all done, it's all done for you. The servo for that is at the back of the uh, fin here, just in there. Show you there, you can see the plug that uh, holds the wing in, it just clips in. And uh, then you've got your other plug here so you don't need to uh, fiddle with wiring. It has a solid steel rod, even comes with tape for uh, taping on everything that needs taping. This little red tool is the tool that you need for when you take the wings off. I believe from what I've read, you can't get them off. It's a little thing, you put it in there and slot them out. I don't know if you can see in there, but you also get the connectors for your ESC, so you've got the right ones to fit onto the motor. Just got to solder them on. As always, you get your manual. Well, as you can all see, quite nice. I'm gonna head over now and uh, put it together. You know, I'd just like at this point to thank Mike from Model Flight. He helped me uh, select this and get all the parts together for it. And uh, a great, great shop down there at Model Flight. I went down to pick up something else and ended up coming away with this as well. Always wanted a hotliner, so now I've got one. Let's get it built and have a look at it when it's built. Okay, here she is built. <laughs> Beautiful, it was an easy build. I did it exactly as it said in the manual. Everything went together pretty easy. As you can see, it looks very nice. The only part I had trouble with was up here in the back, fitting that rod for the elevator. Read the instructions, you have to. Grind away a little bit of the clip that goes onto your horn because uh, it won't fit otherwise. So just read them instructions, follow them exactly. I've got the Aurons set up so that they can break with a little bit of down elevator. Everything's ready to go. Let's take the cover off, give you a look in there, it all fitted in really neat. 
Center of gravity is all right. Okay, so there we are. A big thank you to Mike from Model Flight. Got me all these bits and pieces together. Look at that. This looks really nice. Hopefully getting out real soon this weekend to Maiden. And uh, we'll get that Maiden video up as soon as we can. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this presentation. And uh, something a little different, eh? That slope is beautiful, isn't it? Look at it out there, eh? Absolutely beautiful. I hope to get this there next year as well on the slope. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Catch you soon.